Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to finish installing the railing, day two of our deck installation. If you remember last time, we finished all the framing and deck board and deck supports, and now we're working on railing. Yeah, we're going to put together a new rail system. This deck's going to come together. It's going to look rad. Let's do it. Excited? Boom! All right, guys, first step here in installing our railing is we left everything running long. Our established deck floor is level. So we're going to measure up off of our deck, cut off all of our posts, and then work on the next phase, which will be installing the top rail. Yes, we're going to chop it. All right, guys, so standard deck rail height. Okay, you want to make sure you check with your local building codes to make sure you're in compliance. But most building codes require a 42 inch deck rail from the top of your decking surface. Measure up from the top of our deck to where our cut line is for our post, keeping in mind that we want to factor in an inch and a half for our top rail. Our top rail is going to actually go on top of our posts. So I'm going to go around right now and measure all my posts, scribe them, transfer the lines all the way around, and then cut them all off. So let's do that. Let's do that. I'm marking up off the deck my dimension on both sides, marking the posts, and then I'm running a string line or a dry line in between the two, snapping a line. All right, guys, so now that we've gone through and marked all of our posts, every post has a mark. So you only need to mark three sides if you're using a standard skill saw, circular saw with a seven and a quarter inch blade diameter. So we'll need to cut this on three sides in order to successfully remove it. So I've marked it. I'm gonna go around now carefully and show you how to cut everything off, okay? All right, now that we've cut off all of our posts, you can see we're ready to install our top rail. Simple railing components consist of your posts, obviously, which we cut off, your top rail. Usually we have a bottom rail or our balusters. In this case, we're actually gonna do it a little bit different. And we're gonna install horizontal balusters, so to speak, instead of going vertical. And we're gonna try something new and cool and different. So in this case, we won't actually have a bottom rail, only a top. So we're gonna install our top and then we'll go from there and show you what the next step is. Here I just ran standard two by six, dug for material. Um, our posts are four by four, four by four, two by six. So nominal thickness here is three and a half inches. Nominal thickness here is five and a half inches, a difference of two inches. I wanna center my top rail and have the same overhang on my posts on both sides. I wanna have an inch overhang on both sides. I'll run everything long, okay? And I'll measure an inch. I'll secure this side, measure an inch, secure that side, and then I'll plumb my post up in the middle. So I start on my ends and then I do my middle one. Now. Okay, so I set that one side and then we'll finish the last set. Keeping in mind that we're gonna cut it off. And we're gonna cut it off on a 45 degree miter. So I don't wanna put any screws past this side because it's obviously gonna get cut off. Now I wanna miter this, cut this off so I can get my next board in. Doing so, I wanna make sure that we extend this up and over. Cause remember we have a thickness difference, right? This is our four by four or three and a half inch thickness here. We don't want to miter it there. We want the miter to come, the sharp point to come all the way through here, okay? In this case, I want to set my saw for an inch and a half or just, just a hair over so that when I cut all the way through, the board's gonna come off, but I don't want to cut my post, right? Okay, so you can see here, guys, we've cut the board on a 45. It's just a hair short. So I'm going to take just a little bit more off of it so that I'm truly centered on that edge of the post there. Got close. We'll make one more cut. Perfect. Now we've got a 45 here. We'll go do the other side. Now that we've got that outside edge, what I'm gonna do on the next top rail that goes in, I'm just gonna cut an arbitrary 45 degree angle. I'll fit it in, make sure everything's fitting snug. And then before I secure it, we'll run this side long and we'll cut it off later. It's always important to glue your seams if you can. The glue adds 
an additional connective support between the two boards. It also acts as a waterproofing agent. Did you know that, Jordy? The glue is a protective membrane for the yeah. wood. Okay. Okay. It also there. keeps your corners from cracking. Also keeps your corners from cracking. It's great. Doing great. Yep. Need the screw gun and the screws. Remember, this is finish work, so we want to kind of try and take our time and make sure that everything is looks right. Just kind of work your way around. This is an area where you want to take some time and make sure that everything's secured, you know, appropriately. Remember, we got our one inch, one inch overlaps. So we want to make sure we maintain that all the way around. One inch. Now we got our overhang here, right? We have a couple different options. We're not gonna add any railing here. It's just gonna be open for access. We have our board that ran long here. We have options. We're gonna maintain that one inch reveal. So I'm just gonna transfer the mark uh, all the way up and around. And then I'm just gonna add one inch to it so that we have a nice symmetrical overhang. Okay, hand me the saw, please. Oh, to cut things? It's gonna be where the kids hang out and play. So yeah, just working our way. Perfect. So now we've got our one inch margin all the way around. Our 45s are cut and secured, so our corners are done. The last step here is to just make sure we got our one inch overhang, cut it off, and then we're ready for our balusters. Done. All right guys, so the next step, now that we got our rail top on, our rail cap, we're gonna be installing our balusters or our partitions that are gonna go in between the posts. For this design, we're gonna do horizontal posts. I pre-cut one to show you what we're gonna be doing. So these are gonna be horizontal and we're gonna go from the top to the bottom. What we wanna do is make sure that we've got even spacing on all of our spindles. And I'm gonna show you how we figure that out real quick. First, we're gonna measure our, our height, overall height. I've got 28 and a half inches. So if I've got 28.5, then I wanna determine how many posts I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick a number, I wanna do five posts. These are an inch and a half thick. So if I add five times 1.5, I get seven and a half, boom. So now I'm gonna take that number and subtract it from the overall opening. So 28.5, and then I'm gonna minus my 7.5, that equals 21, boom. Now I'm gonna divide that number by the number of posts plus one. I'm plusing one because I have eight openings in between my posts. So instead of five, I'm gonna divide it by six. So if I divide that number, by six, I get an even 3.5. I'll tell you why that's important. Now that I know the spacing between all of my posts, I can cheat and I can cut a spacer block at that 3.5 inches. And because my rail's level and because my deck's level, if I set that on either end of this post and set this post tight to it, I know my spacing's correct. So I'm gonna cut my 3.5 inch blocks and I'm gonna start installing these spindles. And we'll show you how quick and easy that is. You know what I'm saying, Jordy? Uh-huh. All right, guys, so a couple of the tools I'm gonna to be using to get this rail in place nice and easy is I'm gonna cheat. I've got my blocks that I was talking about, three and a half inches. I've clamped them in place up against the handrail so I know my spacing set. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill the underside of my board. I'm gonna drill these at an angle so that I can get my screws started. Draw a line, quick line, at one inch up the length of this whole post. Now that I've got that line as I put this in place, I'm gonna make sure my edge of my wood lines up with that. I'm up tight against the block. No. We won't, we, he didn't mean that. We didn't say that bad. 
Okay. All right, guys, so I wanna make sure when we're cutting rail sections, we wanna be as productive as possible. So in this case, you know, we'll measure the top, measure the bottom, see where you're at. If it's close to the same measurement, you can cut all your balusters or your rail pieces the same. And that way you're staying productive and staying ahead of, ahead of schedules. Alright guys, here we are. We're back at the deck. It's all painted. It's all done. We took you through step by step. Nothing too crazy here. This is a very simple project. Very easy for anyone to do at home. Knock this out in a few days and you could score yourself some square footage for some summer entertainment. <laughs>